Hey guys, welcome back to a new Boomich video. I am here on my starting over account. This is one video after I've maxed out all my landing craft. So I'm super pumped for that. And also we're just sitting in a really good place today. So to kind of celebrate that, we're gonna be using the Bombardier's Medics. And this combination is really not that good of a combination, but I haven't used it in a while. So I kind of want to try it out to see how it goes. So usually I prefer to bring the uh, Bombardiers medics instead of the Grenadiers. And I think I might have said Bombardiers earlier. I'm bringing Grenadiers and medics. And uh, I'm not a huge fan of Grenadiers. You guys know this. I don't think they're that good of a troop compared to other troops that I could use in their place. Like the Bombardiers, I think, are much, much better than the Grenadiers. The Grenadiers, though, definitely have their place. They're very good at clearing mines. They're very good at um, kind of getting a lot of damage dealt behind the initial defenses so if you have some tanking troops that's really really good for you but um the all bombardier combination or bombardier medic combination is a little bit of a different animal so i have to worry about boom cannons i obviously have to worry about all the prototype all the prototypes yeah i have to worry about rocket launchers um, for rocket launchers though, I kind of assume that my medics are going to heal up my bombardiers more than the rocket launcher. So that's kind of what I am relying on when I bring this combination. So really the only things that I should be taking out with my energy and shocking are boom cannons and prototypes. Shock launchers are obviously a threat. If my uh, grenadiers are all clumped up and there's shock launchers hitting me, that's a really big deal and I have to watch out for that. But if my troops are spread out, there's some shock launchers firing and hitting my, my poor little grenadiers, it's not an issue. Like, it's really not an issue. It's fine. So that's kind of what I am relying on. That's kind of the strategy behind this attack combination. But again, I don't think it's that strong of an attack combination, but I haven't used this attack combination in a pretty long time. So I'm excited to see how my upgraded Grenadiers fare against these player bases. So, so far we are looking good. I just finished watching the Cowboy Bengal game. If you guys don't know, I am a Cowboy fan and man, that was a good ending. That was a good ending. It was very stressful though. The last, I mean, honestly the whole second half, but anyway, I don't want to talk about football too much. This is a boom beach channel, not a football channel. Uh, level 61 is about to drop. This is the one of the issues with Grenadiers and no other really high damage dealing troop is they just take so freaking long to destroy things, especially the core. Like this guy only has one building health masterpiece and it took me three and a half minutes to take out. Wait, no, two and a half minutes, right? It took me a while to take it out. All right, here's the next player. We'll jump into battle. Um, obviously, I have to worry about that shock bl blaster. I'm gonna kind of fall to the the right side a little bit, and we're gonna help take down some of these mines, especially those boom mines have to drop because I don't want any of them hitting me. And also, I mean, honestly, all of these mines are in a very good position to counter the grenadiers, but honestly, not a good position to counter other attack combinations. So I probably wouldn't recommend placing your minds like that it's just not a very good strategy okay i do have to start taking out the shock blaster this guy really doesn't have any building health so uh, he does have one but it seems like i'm able to take out these buildings really really easily not really spending a ton on energy so that's really good for me i'm gonna kind of wait on taking down anything else because I do want to rely on the Grenadier ability to take out buildings behind the initial target. Um, that's what they're good for. They're good for destroying the buildings past the building they're targeting. And that's what, I mean, that's the whole point of using them um, because their damage obviously isn't very good. So I'm clumping up my troops, or I took down the shock launcher. And now I can just sit here, nothing is gonna hit me. There is the rocket launcher that will hit me, but I think the rocket launcher will be pretty distracted with my critters. I do like bringing Everspark when I bring this combination. I just find that the extra uh, troops in front of my Grenadier army just really does make a difference. So the critters that it spawns kind of distracts things. I could, I guess, bring something like Dr. Kavan, Second Wind, 
I think that would also be a really good top choice. Or even Bullet, but I think Bullet is going to die really, really easily and die more so. <laughs> die very, very fast on this account because I have like a level one, uh, a level one energy drink or level two. It's really bad. So energy drink is just not an ability that's that good until you fully max it out. So I don't really recommend using it with this combination unless you're maxed out. And still, I don't know if it's better than Everspark. All right, this one's gonna be a little rough. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna drop critters and then get the rest of my army out. And then once my critters are about dying, I'll drop those shocks out to shock the boom cannons. The worst thing that grenadiers are bad at is taking down a single defense. If you're relying on them to take down one specific defense, it's gonna look like it takes them forever to do that. And that's because they're not made to do that. So I don't really recommend just dropping your troops on the beach when you're coming up against someone that has uh, boom cannons on the beach unless you drop some sort of support. So critters or shocks or just something, get something on the front lines because Otherwise, you're going to get stuck up and you're going to get slaughtered. So you definitely want to avoid that that scenario. All right. I mean, this is going really, really well. My army is doing well. The boom cannon is about taken out. There are two or, or all three rocket launchers are hitting me. And I told you guys that my medics are supposed to be healing at my troops enough. And it looks like they are doing a really good job. But you do have to watch out because sometimes... Uh, medics can't heal up fast enough if there are multiple rocket launchers targeting your troops. So I'm going to get critters on the top to try to take out the shield generators a little bit because I don't think I can burn through that core that fast. So we're just going to kind of sit back, let my little critters take it out. Perfect. And then the rest of my troops will come in and target the core. Now, if you don't know, the closer the Grenadiers are to a building they're hitting, the more accurate they'll be. I'm a little worried, though, that uh, I guess the sniper isn't really going to do much. And, and the core is al almost already gone. But if I really wanted to, uh, you know, let's just do it. We're going to drop a flare close, and then we're going to flare to the core again. These Bombardier or Grenadiers are much closer, so they're going to hit a higher percentage of their target. Um, so that's just something to keep in mind. It's kind of the randomness of their bullets increases the distance they are from the building they're targeting. So when you're on top of a building, pretty much all of your hits are going to hit the core. But still, they don't really deal a ton of damage, so you're still not really going to make much progress. All right, so this is going to be a very hard base to attack with this combination, and I'm a little tempted to find a new opponent simply because... I mean, this guy has no loot. Oh, look at this, a little tree on the beach. Um, this guy has no loot, so even if I could get past his defenses, I, I just have a feeling I'll get slaughtered, or, or I, I won't get anything as a reward. So, you know what? We're going to do it, though, because I don't back down from challenges. I say that every time. I have a different philosophy every video, it seems like. <laughs> like... Half the time, I'm like, okay, I'm not going to find a new opponent because I want the challenge. And then half the time, it's, uh, you know what? This guy has no loot. Find a new opponent. I don't care about anything else. So I, I don't know which, which of those I like doing more. I mean, obviously, you want to attack people that have a high amount of loot. That's the whole point of attacking, to get a lot of loot. However... Having challenges on a video are really, really fun. I, I really don't like stepping down from challenges, so it's not an easy task to do that. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take down that, we're gonna take down that, we're gonna activate my uh, universal remote on the boom cannon. That's gonna help distract all of the rocket launchers. And that's gonna help us take down the core even faster. You know what, let's take down this last boom cannon because once that's done, the only thing that's going to be hitting me are these rocket launchers. And I think my medics will be able to withstand the rocket launchers uh, pretty well. So as soon as this cannon goes down, though, I'm going to activate... Yeah, let's activate my uh, universal remote again. And that will be really, really nice to have. We'll take down the other rocket launcher. And then I'll simply be just burning this core down to the ground. So honestly, a base that looked pretty tough goes down. I could have taken out that base with warriors. I could have took out the base with um, 
other troop combinations? What are other troop combinations? Like Bombardier's Heavies. It's a hard base, but it was more tough to do it using bomb or using Grenadiers versus like Warriors would have been probably pretty easy. And also Bombardiers would have been pretty easy, but doing it with Grenadiers makes it just a little bit harder because Grenadiers are, I would say, a C tier troop combination. I would put Warriors at a tier, I would put AZ at A tier, I would put tanks probably at B tier, and then um, Bombardier's Heavy is definitely at A tier. Uh, RZCM, I don't like it, I would put it lower, but top players still use it, so it's definitely still in the A tier. But anyway, I'm not doing a tier list of all the troop combinations. If that's what you want, I can, I can do something like that. I haven't done a tier list video in a while. But I hope you all enjoyed the video. Drop a like if you did. Let's do, can we do an upgrade? I didn't boost up my resource reward, so I didn't get a ton. Let's just do this machine gun. Now that my landing crafts are done, I don't really have any offensive buildings left to upgrade, and I have to go to level 56. So it's going to be a while before I get there, so I don't know what I'm going to do. I think also my storages are all maxed out as well. So yeah, I can't really do anything besides upgrade defenses, so that's what I'm going to do. So I hope you enjoyed. Drop a like if you did, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye, guys.